Roll that mother clip. At the end of the day, I attempted to date black girls. When I was younger, I wasn't as handsome as I am now. I didn't oh. have this beautiful smile as I had as, yeah. I, have now, as I have now. He had, I, he had puberty. Right. I was a late I was a late bloomer. Yeah. And when I bloomed, boy, did I bloom. Yes, hey. sir. <laughs> so let me finish my story. When I started dating white girls, my first experience with white girls was when I went to college. I tried to date some black girls when I was in college. They did not like me. I was skinny. I right. was strong. Right. I was I was teased from high school, even college. I got teased for being dark skinned. Damn, so they, tease, was, they tease you cuz? Yeah. So there was a lot of self a lot of self esteem issues. Right, right, right. No, I'm I'm being I'm being yeah. dead honest. So when I if, when I got my opportunity, when my, my first experience with a white girl, I'm like, okay, it wasn't bad. But that wasn't I just grew, totally gravitated to, to white girls after that. Right. That wasn't the situation. So again, my experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good. So, but that still didn't deter me from still dating or pursuing right. black girls. Right. So my thing now is <clears throat> because I know there's this stigma, uh, the stigma, the, the stereotypical of, of athletes, you know, to, to to go off and make money, this and that, and and date uh, the opposite color, mm -hmm. opposite race. But for me now, where I am, it's not even about it's not even about about color. It's not even about race. Mm -hmm. For me, it's about somebody that I have some chemistry with, mm -hmm. good energy, and a, and I get a good vibe with. I allow myself to be somewhat vulnerable, but understanding communication is key in anything, business and personal. No matter what, if you have a good communica communication relationship, man. Y'all can rule the world. You can do a number of things that you probably didn't think you could do right. just by communicating. What's going on, my kings and queens? This is Soul Brother number one. I'm the player that dropped down from the Himalayas. I'm your brother from another mother. I salute all you kings and queens, the ones at home taking care of the baby and the ones making that green. Soul Brother salute you. I've been given owner. I've been given permission by the owner of Roller Clip TV to deal with some black issues this week. I'm going to deal with it the black way, the only way soul brother knows how. So let me get this week started by no other, but by, by saying that, 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 that this week I heard from no other than Mr. Terrell Owens talking about black women just didn't like him when he was in high school. And he talked about now all, you know, he wants to go with who he has chemistry with. Soul brother ain't got nothing against chemistry. Because the moment I saw my beautiful brown sugar queen, I said, oh, my goodness. So soul brother ain't got nothing against that. And let me just go on record right now, my beautiful black people, my beautiful white people, Asians and others. Soul brother ain't got no problem with interracial relationships. As a matter of fact, soul, soul brother and my soul lady, we have a beautiful biracial uh, grandson. As handsome as he can be. So soul brother ain't got no problem with it. But what I want to address right now is social media propaganda. And I do understand where Mr. Owens was coming from. But I got to throw a caveat into what he, into his program. I got, I, let me just go on record to say this. I salute my beautiful black wife. I salute, I salute my beautiful black queen. Because she is my heart, my soul, and strength. And I want to just say, in my personal opinion, I don't see I don't see black men giving black women enough credit. I don't see enough black men shouting at their black queens from the rooftops. And maybe it's just me because Soul Brother lives in his little bubble. But I just want to go on record that why it ain't why you can't deny what your heart wants. And I get that. But at the same time, in our relationships, we are not going to begin to bash. We are not going to begin to criticize what somebody else loves and likes. And so in this conversation that Mr. O that Mr. Owens was having with Ocha Cinco, looking like two bought and never mind. In this conversation, I just felt like the black woman wasn't honored the way she ought to be. So I wanted to take a moment and I want to address this topic. You're going to love who you're going to love. You can't deny your heart. You can't deny your soul. But in who you love, we are not we are we are going to remember why we love these black women. 
You got to remember, whether y'all want to admit it or not, our people suffered 400 years of some horrible, horrible mess. And we have not gotten any justice or no reparations for it. Now, I don't mean to get deep on y'all today, but then when I deal with black issues, I got to deal with it the black way. And we got to go back to the beginning. See, we begin to listen. We learn to dishonor each other in our black community. Because before we were brought from another country. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We sang our songs. We did our own dances. We did our thing. So when I hear this kind of social media propaganda and all these headlines talking about Terrell, don't, black women didn't like him. I'm going to say this. I want to go on record when so brother was in high school. Y'all may not understand this and y'all may not get this. But soul brother was a skinny something or another. When I was in high school. And not, listen, and people picked on me, too. I know y'all look at Soul Brother now with all of his gorgeousness and all of his muscles. Y'all see what Soul Brothers represent now. Y'all don't listen. But I remember the days when Soul Brother was a little skinny, something or another. But guess what? It didn't matter. I had a black mama at home and my heart still beat for my sisters. So I don't really know what Mr. Owens was talking about. I think it's something a little bit deeper that maybe he got to sit on his couch and talk to a doctor about. Had, had, had kids by uh, a young lady who was African-American. I get all of that. But the only thing the world sees now is what you're doing now. The world is going to say because he got a little money, he traded in on his community. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. So, brother, don't really know. I'm just I just want to bring these things to our attention because in the black community, we got to begin to do our own housekeeping and we got to honor our kings and queens. To all of my beautiful black queens, if you got a king at home doing his thing, not running the streets, acting like God, act, acting like the king that God created him to be. My sister, you need you need to go home and fry that bacon and put it in the pan and treat that man as God created him. Oh, we're going to do some housekeeping this week. See, I'm, I'm all for black love. I'm all for love, period. But I'm I'm really all for black love because the one thing missing in this world, you got so many things on social media, uh, uh, black people killing black people, young black girls fighting it and hurting other black girls. You got the young girl, Shaquella Robinson, killed by her own people. We got to begin to do our own housekeeping, my beautiful black kings and queens. And all of this stuff starts at home. It starts at home. The reason why my sons can love the way they love. Because they didn't see their daddy disrespecting the black queen. And I'm going to go on record and say this. So listen, my my eldest son was from a previous something or another. I've only had one marriage in this lifetime. The one I'm in right now with my beautiful wife. That's how I claim it. But even back then, I was teaching my son how to be respectful to beautiful people. Wasn't about black or white. It was about being respectful. It was about being a strong black man in this world today. I wasn't going to give him no excuses. I was hard on him. And listen, I did what I had to do. And even for my young son today. Living in the house with me and my beautiful woman. He opens the car door for my beautiful queen. He opens the he opens the back door for my beautiful queen. If he sees her carrying some groceries, he runs outside and grabs her groceries. Why? Because I'm because I'm I'm not raining. I'm not raising little boys to grow up and be boys, boys to men. I'm raising young boys to grow up and be strong black men to treat their black queens the way they did, way they deserve to be treated. And I'm gonna close with this, y'all. The greatest thing we can do in this in this culture, the greatest thing we can do in this society is to teach our children and our children's children. Yes, soul brother is getting that preach on today. Is to teach our children and our children's children how to respect our black queens. Y'all do me a favor, y'all head and subscribe to this channel.